Hey everybody, how's it going? Mike from the Focus Garage here. In today's video, we are going to be putting an Aerofab front lip spoiler on my 8V RS3. Now, I've not found any installation videos about how this piece goes onto these cars. The installation looks pretty simple, aside from the fact that you do have to drill six holes in the bumper, but the bumper doesn't need to come off, and it does use rib nuts for those holes that you drill. So, you need a rib nut uh, gun and tool with the nut certs to be able to put this on. But aside from that, it utilizes some factory kind of mounting points for it. Um, I like how low profile it's gonna look on the car, so it won't be one of those crazy ones that hangs out super far. It should be just kind of a nice finishing piece on the front end of the car there. So it's gonna be a pretty quick, simple to the point video. Let me open up this box, show you all of the hardware, everything that goes with the instructions and what you need to do to get this installed. All you should need is the hardware that comes with this, a rib nut and nut cert tool, um, and a couple of drill bits and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So here's kind of what you got when everything is unboxed and out of the packaging. You've got your bag of hardware here, very nicely packaged with a Sour Patch Kids there. Your spacers, your bolts, your screws. It even comes with the nut certs. That's pretty cool, did not expect that. So it's got that. There's the front lip. Got your Aerofab badge there, quality inspected everything like that. And then the installation manuals right there, you just scan that QR code and you're ready to go. So I'll have that linked if you need it as well in the instructions. So really all you need to do to get this installed is you are gonna be removing some factory hardware that holds on some belly pans and stuff like that under the car here, and you're gonna re be reusing that. So you can see here, to hold the front bumper, you've got some bolts there, and then a little bit farther in, you've got some bolts there. You're gonna kind of pretty much just follow the installation guide, I believe they're T25s and T30s, and remove what needs to be removed. Mock up the lip, and then it's gonna show you where you'll be installing uh, the holes that you need to drill. Step one and step two are pretty simple. You're gonna be removing just the factory hardware. You can see uh, part of my bumper came off with the one there. I think that was either over torqued or just kind of smushed from a previous owner hitting the car on a curb or something like that. No big deal, I'll still be able to sandwich that back up in there. So you're gonna remove these six T25s, and these three T30s, which are pretty beefy actually. Uh, so you're gonna take those out of the car and those are just right in factory holes. I'll kind of see if I can show you here. So we've got the front most ones, give me a sec. So it's gonna be all the ones along the front of the bumper here uh, with these tabs. That's your T25s and then your T30s are going to be the ones kind of in these little recessed pockets here. There's three of those. Next thing to do is you are going to get the lip test fit it and it's going to basically show you where you're going to need to drill your holes and they're pretty much on the underside of these pieces here um, so you'll mock it up uh, with the provided hardware and spacers and kind of see where everything falls so once you've got the lip kind of mocked up as far as where it needs to have the holes drilled this is what it looks like before you attach the side pieces so that's kind of that poke that you get there making the car look a little bit lower really clever use of spacers in there to keep it off the bumper and then you have to basically line up this piece underneath and there are three holes that you're gonna need to drill and remove this and then that's where you'll put in the nut certs. So there are one, two, three holes along the side of this, but you have to kind of loosely mock the lip up first here to see where those holes need to go. Uh, just underneath here, I'll kind of show you what that looks like. You've got you know, your big bolt back there on the one side and the other side you got it back there and then you've got your few loosely along the front here. Um, well, not loosely, they're, they're on there, but you're not you know, fully fastening this to the car yet, just because you're trying to see how everything needs to align. So here's what it looks like aligned. I am going to go get my drill bit, poke some holes in the bottom of the car here, and uh, we'll go from there. So that was my first time ever using a rib nut gun, and let me tell you, really, really cool. So the way the instructions guide you to do is you start off by drilling a quarter inch holes for everywhere that you're gonna have to insert the nut certs. Then after you've got a quarter inch hole, it wants you to drill it out to a 10 millimeter hole. What I did is I got a step drill bit here and I just went to 10 on this in the holes and that's when we were able to insert the rib nuts. Check these bad boys out. They are flush with the bumper and now we have threaded holes right where these bolts seem to go into. Super thrilled about that and I love the way that turned out. I think that's pretty neat and I think those are gonna work very, very well for the bolts that uh, Aerofab needs. So once you've got your holes drilled and the rib nuts in and everything's mocked up and you think you know where you need to put it all, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start to assemble everything. So there is a variety of washers. So these smaller bolts here are for the outer ones where we just put in the rib nuts. So we've got those. These spacers are used for the frontmost ones. 
And then these big ones are for the T30 bolts. So you'll put it up there, mock it up, use the blue Loctite where they call for it, and make sure you're getting everything threaded in loosely before you go ahead and snug anything down. The backmost holes on this are slotted for adjustment to make sure you can line everything else up uh, where it needs to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and cinch this down for good, can have the Loctite where it needs to go, and uh, we'll show you the final product. And just like that, we are done. And I am glad to say that actually everything went according to plan. All of the holes lined up where I drilled and rib nutted, everything threaded in, there were no issues, and everything bolted up and lined up exactly how it should. And with the way this is mounted, with the longer hardware and everything like that, this thing is ridiculously solid. Sure, it's not gonna generate any downforce or anything like that going down the highway, but this isn't a lip that I'm gonna worried about getting ripped off if I hit a paper bag or something like that. Like this should be on there pretty, pretty well. And um, I think this is gonna last a pretty long time. So you can see here, kind of the way it dips down around the front. Both sides kind of pops out a little bit there where it comes flush with the edge of the bumper. So it's not 100%, but I mean, I don't know if any lip is gonna get like right to there. That's just me kind of being nitpicky, but you can see, like, it, it's nice. It's a very quality piece, and it mounts in a very, very quality way. So you can see kind of here, everything is stainless. It's got a washer. Um, it utilizes factory mounting points, aside from the three on the side. And, like, it, it's awesome. <laughs> like, very, very happy with how this turned out. It took me just about two hours while filming everything. I did have to jack the car a little bit, um, just to be able to get a drill under the bumper. Uh, I couldn't get, you know, my drill under there with these low-profile ramps that I'm on, but... I'd say this works pretty well. Uh, very, very happy with how this looks, and I can't wait to kind of drive the car, let the suspension settle since it's been kind of on the ramps and in the air now, and see what it looks like, and just what the front end of the car looks like now with this lip on there. Overall though, huge shout out to Aerofab. This video is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money, uh, but it's a pretty quality product that I'd say uh, works very, very well uh, with the front of the car there. Uh, another thing too is if you guys do not have a rib nut gun or a nut cert tool, definitely pick one up. This is one of the neatest tools that I've ever used. It eliminates the need for self-tapping screws or double-sided tape or anything like that. You just drill the proper size hole, slip in the nut cert, and you've got a threaded hole anywhere you could possibly want it. Very, very happy that this lip gave me an excuse to buy one of those because it's a tool that will definitely get some use from me in the future. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Let me know if you guys have any questions. This is Mike from the Focus Garage signing off, and I'll catch you in the next video.